Hello students, a very warm welcome to Meso study session. So as you can see in today's class, I'll be talking about megasporogenesis. Now what is a megasporogenesis? Megasporogenesis that means a formation of a megaspore from a megaspore mother cell. So what actually it means is formation of megaspore. from megaspore mother cell right now how this development occur let's have a look we have an end that is termed as a micropylar end in this case one of the cell they act as a microspore mother cells and these microscope uh, microspore mother cell as you can see the sorry megaspore mother cell it enlarges itself it has a prominent nucleus with them and it has a dense cytoplasm now it starts dividing and they start undergoing the process of meiosis so when they undergo the process of meiosis at that time there is a formation of four haploid megaspore or this is also termed as a megaspore tetrad termed as megaspore tetrad right now listen very carefully this is a micropylar end and the now the cells the one cell now it is being divided and it has formed the four cells and these four cells they are termed as a four haploid megaspore so this is a whole process of the megasporogenesis now basically there is a formation of ovules now out of these four megaspore three of them degenerate yes the three of them degenerate only one remain functional so let's have a look in that also so in this case as you can see one of the cell one of the cell which is present at the chalazal end which is away from the micropylar end this is a micropylar end so cell which is away from the micropylar end i'm talking about this fourth cell from the chalazal end this particular cell it keeps on dividing so once these cells as you can see these cells it will remain functional whereas the rest of the three these will degenerate as you can see the degenerating megaspore right now they will degenerate now what will happen these cell they will undergo the process of mitosis so in case of the mitosis there is only a karyokinesis that is a division of nucleus there is no cytokinesis so when a cell divide there is a formation of two cell right and in this case a cell remain the same this is a only a single cell but the nucleus they keeps on dividing so at this point of time there will be first mitosis in which only the karyokinesis or the division of the nucleus will occur now this particular nucleus as you can see the one dot i have placed it will divide and it will form the two nucleus now these two nucleus they will move to the opposite pole they will move to the opposite pole now once again they will undergo mitosis now once they will undergo the process of mitosis there will be formation of a cell in which the four nucleus is present initially started with a single nucleus then the two nucleus then there is a presence of a four nucleus out of these four nucleus the two nucleus they will arrange they will get uh, themselves arranged at the chalazal end and two will be present at the micropylar end is it fine now listen to this very carefully out of these uh, two one the two will further divide as you can see i have made a dot i have made this white color structure that means i am talking about the degenerating megaspore so it is almost degenerated now these two nucleus it will further undergo the division so there will be formation of a four nucleus on one side and four nucleus on another side so total we will be we are having now the eight nucleus right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have eight nucleus with us now what will happen next one cell from each of the end one cell from the chalazal end or sorry one nucleus from the chalazal end and one nucleus from the micropylar end it will come in the center and when they will come in the center what they form is a polar nucleus the central cell they actually form so this is how they will come in the center and on the opposite end there is a formation or there is a differentiation of a special type of structures now as you can see at the micropylar end 
again and again I am repeating at the micropylar end there will be presence of a synergids. So, these are the two synergids. Listen, this is one synergids and the synergid, this is a second synergid. So, two synergids will be present and also there will be presence of a egg cell, right. One egg cell, two synergids were at the micropylar end. In the center, we know that polar nucleus is present, the central cell is present. They will be having the dense cytoplasm. Now, here we will be having these antipodal cells present. So, antipodal cells are 3. Now, can you count these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, the still they are 8 cell structure, eight, sorry, 8 nucleus structure. So, 8 nucleus they are arranged in this fashion. The 3 are present at the micropylar end. Whereas, the 3 are present at the chalazal end and 2 is in the form of a single cell. They are present at the central position. Now, these are termed as an antipodal cell, right. So, this is how an embryo sac formation occurred in the case of a like how this ovule actually is formed. So, this is a whole process of megasporogenesis. So, megasporogenesis was first of all studied in the polygonum by Strasburger, right. Now, can I ask you one question? When we talk about the process of megasporogenesis, first I have discussed that there is a formation of four haploid, where is it? Yes, <coughs> four haploid megaspore. What is the use of meiosis over here? Because we are dealing with the formation of the gametes. We are talking about a female gamete and it has to be haploid. That is the reason it undergo the process of meiosis. So, here which process occur? Meiosis and at this particular side the division which occur that is termed as mitosis. Now, can you tell how many number of the mitosis has happened? Listen to this. This is the first time mitosis. This is a second time mitosis. Second. First. This is a third time mitosis. Now, again is there is any further division? No there is no further division. Instead, there is a rearrangement and differentiation that leads to the formation of a various structure in an embryo sac, right. So, this is a whole process of the megasporogenesis. Is it fine? Is it clear to you? So, this is all about students the today's session. We will be meeting in the next one discussing certain other topics as well. Till then, take care, keep watching. Thank you so much students for watching this.